What is up guys, my name is Matt Workman for Cinematography Database and today we are at Red Sky Studios in Boston, Massachusetts. This is a soundstage where they shoot movies, they shoot commercials, they've probably shot TV. And today we're gonna attempt to 3D scan this place in its entirety so we can get a very accurate 3D model of the psych wall. Maybe the grid, scanning grids, is a, kind of the question mark of this space. And we're gonna be using the Leica BLK360, which is something that I have on loan right now, so I'm very excited to test it out. And hopefully, again, we're going to get a 3D model of this stage so we can use it in pre-production to fi figure out like how big the set should be. We can figure out where the lights are going to go, figure out where the camera goes. So I'm really excited. This is the first movie stage that I'm going to have scanned using LiDAR. So let's go get the BLK360 and set it up. Quasar science. So the BLK360 is really small, and this is my Manfrotto Bumblebee backpack. Holler. And it's so small that it just fits in here like it's any other piece of camera gear. Except it looks like something out of a, out of a sci-fi movie. Here's the tripod that it comes with. And there it is. It's tiny. It's very small. It opens like a C-stand. To turn it on, all we do is hold this button. Now that the BLK360 is on, I'm using the iPad here. And I think you can see I'm connected to the BL360 right now. And so I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to bring this bad boy, this is very light, carrying this with one hand, semi-confidently. I'm going to start by scanning from about here. I'm just going to take a second and slide that big box out of the way, because that's really in the way. This reminds me, I need to 3D model these stands. Okay, so now that those are out of the way, that means I can get a pretty good view of the psych from here. And... Uh, Again, there's a good amount of gear here, but having done a couple scans, I'm pretty sure it's going to be really easy to just take them out. I do want to go over here really quickly for a second. These are called Roadrunner stands, and they're made by American Grip, so holler, American Grip. I just modeled this in 3D a little while ago. New scan. Oh, and you can see it over there. It's kind of far. There's me vlogging. Okay, so the first scan just finished over there. It took like five minutes, something like that. Wasn't, wasn't too long. I'm just gonna hide out right here. It's over there. Just sitting with the HMIs, just me and the HMIs hanging out, scanning stuff. So the third scan just registered here, and I'm like, there's a lot of black area over there. Is this corner over here? So it, it hasn't seen very much over there. So I'm gonna scan once over there. Okay, so I think that, flip around, I think that we're all done here. We did five scans, it took like, an hour, but I was kind of dilly-dallying around. And so thank you so much to Ruben and Red Sky for letting me come hang out and scan your stage. It's lovely. If you're ever in Boston, check out Red Sky Studios. And also, if you're looking for Grip and Electric, Red Herring in the same space, I think they're the same company. So we are going to let the BLK transfer to the iPad for a little bit longer just to make sure everything has a full backup and I will see you back at the studio where we're going to turn this all into a 3D model and do some cine design with it. So we are looking at the point cloud that we just captured at Red Sky Studios. All the scans have been registered together and we're viewing this now inside of Recap Pro. And everything is basically a ton of dots and measurements with color on it. And when you put them all together you get this this massive point cloud and it's all to scale very lovely to work with and we're looking at some different views i've taken a measurement of the width here's looking at it from above in an orthographic view so that i can figure out where the beams and the pipes are for the grid really nice and this is another side view and now we're going to go make this into a 3d model so now we're in cinema 4d and in this time lapse you're watching me take a 3d model that was created from the point cloud Combined with a couple different orthographic views, I'm using all of those as reference to basically re-3D model or clean up the scan. And while this is basically traditional 3D modeling, what I have now are some very accurate references so that I can make sure that the psych is a very accurate shape. The walls are the right length, where the doors are supposed to be, they are. And most importantly, where the grid is, because once I have the grid in, then I'm going to be able to add lights and create a um, very accurate pre-production, previs, cine design, lighting diagram with camera angle, and everything's to scale and is really good for pre-production. And in this final time lapse, we have our completed 3D model of Red Sky Studios, Studio One, all very much to scale, 
the grid is in there, and now we're gonna do a little bit of Cine design. So I'm gonna bring in a dolly, gonna bring in a talent, really basic scene, and we're gonna be using the two wall psych over there, and we're going to add a series of Airy Sky Panel S60s to light the psych wall. We're gonna key it with a T12 and a 12 by, and just do a little bit of Cine design pre-production here. So I am really satisfied with this workflow. Uh, it's a little bit complicated as new technology things are, but it works perfectly for my skill level as a 3D artist and cine designer. And combined with the Leica BLK scan data, I can, in certain cases, just use that data if it's like a complicated location, or I can just simply 3D model over it and know that everything is to scale and it works as a great reference. If you're interested in learning more about cine designer, head over to cinematographydb.com. You will need Cinema 4D to start and Cine Designer. And then from there, once you start to get familiar with 3D, there's a lot more options out there for things like LiDAR, virtual reality and augmented reality, which we haven't really covered, but I've been working in that space as well. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.